I've been tattooing for like a couple years, but I've been t uh, drawing and painting my whole life. So I always tell people that I came out of the wound drawing and like with my little paintbrush. I think it's, uh, I, I would say like an addiction. I don't know, I just can't stop. Like once you, you see it, you can't unsee it. And uh, it's like something I'm very passionate about. And like it's been my whole life and I just don't know anything else than art. I like to, you know, I'll kind of sketch it out a little bit on my, on paper, just to get an idea, and then on, on skin, I'll really like finalize the lines and everything, but just to, you kind of get to feel more of the body part, versus I'm drawing it on paper, then slapping it on, you know, your, the leg could be bigger, smaller, and it doesn't fit as good, so that's why I think like, we're, uh, knowing how to draw helps, it comes in handy, and just learning the body parts too, I think it's, it's everywhere. Honestly, like everywhere, like what Da Vinci said, like everything connects, you just have to learn how to see it. Like you go out in the streets and you see like pointillism, you know, and you can really grid like, you know, the town, the city, people, body parts, like just everything. It's, I think it's life. I would honestly like go, not like religiously, but you know, it's something I truly believe in and art is everywhere everywhere everything you look at like the movie covers the designs furniture art is everywhere i love it all but i think painting it's either between paintbrush or like spray painting i think that would be my top 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 favorite and then tattooing <laughs> it was very hard i took a year off 2017 and uh luckily at the time i had a supportive partner and uh yeah i was just painting and drawing and painting and drawing in my studio for a whole year and I barely left my studio and I was just drawing and drawing and painting and I was doing art shows and like little what is it festivals I'd go and put my little stand and try to sell artwork and try to make it for rent but still trying to push the art side and I'm like I need to really push it hard to see if it's gonna work and I was tattooing a little bit on the side but you know just trying to sell paintings and artwork to get by and then uh, I pushed it more of tattooing, and then tattooing got me a good career. And uh, I still paint here and there, but I mean, the money's at, the money's tattooing. Still learning. I feel like uh, with technology and like, you know, other upcoming artists, and now like artists with degrees that are starting to tattoo, like you really have to keep pushing it and keep learning new techniques. And like, uh, that's why I still like to study like either like lettering books, graffiti books or Da Vinci books, because it's like something I can bring back that maybe no one else is doing yet. And, you know, it's just every day is a learning experience, no matter what you do. Like, a, you know, a client with like a different type of skin that you haven't tattooed that you, you know, and, and it happens, you know, I've never had a, a person with like a latex, you know, allergy. And it happened to me like, what, last year? And I was like, you know, that's crazy. And I had to learn how to like, all right, maybe I shouldn't use these certain things or maybe I have to do something different. I think it's so awesome, a little overwhelming because, you know, it's like finding the time to, you know, to get everybody in and work on everybody's design. And I wish I could tattoo every single person that ever like hit me up, but it's just, oh man, I would never leave the shop, you know, <laughs> no sleep or nothing. But uh, I think it's, it's awesome that my artwork is spreading and people like my designs and I get good recommendations. People come in and they're like, I've heard so many great things about you and your art. Your like designs are like original and I just love that, being original and then putting it on people's skins. Seeing the client's face and they absolutely love it. Most of the time it's like memorial pieces. So once you, uh, they're not artsy clients that come in. So they're like, give you an idea and you have to really put it together how they envision it. And I think I like that because it pushes your creativity it's like something you would have never thought about drawing or painting. And then when you put it together and it's something that's so meaningful to them and you finish and, you know, sometimes they get teary and it's just like, I made that happen, you know, for them, like their vision. So I think that's, that's really what gets me. I think the only way I would stop it is uh, someone chopped off my limbs, my arms and my legs. And I really couldn't figure out how to do it anymore. <laughs> But I don't think I'd ever stop unless I really, really can't. Or I'm like paralyzed. It's the only way.